Right, hello everybody. Worst possible matchup, Kemri. Down TV to Kemri. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's the worst possible matchup, but it's it's not comfortable, is it, against the strength boys? It's Buster for Jones. And he's got four mighty blow. I'm not laughing anymore. And what has he got? He's 2 4 0. He's not a winner. But he's also not a loser. Um. I think just the apple to keep keep men on the field. Eight, nine, ten, eight. he's got twelve. Got eleven and plus the apple. Maybe could even uh maybe could even go no. I think the apple's better than the reserve because then it could apple KO or something and keep somebody actually on the field. That's a good idea. Mantico, I'm I don't know. Right, let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Um, it might not even be. Well, it must be a space <laughs> Well, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't sell them anymore. Well, they, they don't. They literally don't even sell them anymore. Uh, I receive. Get the draw. No, Manticore's a tank, isn't it? It wasn't a tank, it was just like a platform. I literally can't remember what they were called. Hyperios. That's it. Hyperios. Yeah, that's what they were. Well done, Jim. Ellen Tarantula, no. Well, it was not a tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they are now, but um, back 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 in my day, it was just a high period. Uh, I won the toss and decided to receive to at least get a touchdown and draw. Yeah, it was pretty good. Blitz Ra or a weaker defenseless skeleton. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think maybe it's good. Now, then, on the other hand, if you bang out the mighty blow, you're happy, aren't you? It is big bad Kenry. Yeah, but it's it's the it's the knockdown thing, isn't it? You know, if if you get stuck on mighty blow, you feel bad, don't you? So I think I don't want to get stuck and feel bad. And so the blitz, I'm just getting blitzed by his mighty blow straight up without even getting to hit him. Good start. Love a bit of adversity, I do. 
Now he's over. Oh, what a fucking joke. That's really annoying, isn't it? Because now that would have been hitting him 2D, 2D, and bang down all these. Now his strength 5 comes in and just don't get to make any blocks. <laughs> and get our mighty blow banged out. Guaranteed. There is no doubt in my mind this is a knockdown and a removal. Fuck's sake. Oh, what a surprise. I am shocked. I am absolutely shocked. Who knew that could have happened? Who could have possibly predicted that? Fuck off, man. Hello, Twomble. Jesus fucking... I mean, how can fucking anyone complain about me being fucking whiny when this fucking happens so consistently? So fucking consistently. Fuck off. Okay, I could have protected him. Yes, I could have protected him in case there was a blitz. I could have protected him in case of a blitz. But because I w wanted to go for him and not the other one, I just wanted to be able to go there and get back on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wanted to get back. And maybe I could have started back. One, two. I could have started back because I had to go laterally anyway, so I was just an idiot. But still, let's not let the truth distract from the. You know, my feelings. Oh look, mine's a fucking push. Outrageous. Fuck me. Oh god, I hate Blood Bowl, man. Right, now this one dice has to work. No. Cast. Concede. Delete team. Probably for the best. <laughs> Jilly. How do you fucking possibly remain positive here? Woo! Flip me, guys! This is so good! Oh, I can't wait! Oh, guys, this is such a great opportunity! Flip me! This is going to be so good when we win this. I mean, this is great. We've got a real good chance here to roll a million dice. And, uh, you know, it's going to be really great. Uh, this is so good, guys. We've got so many chances to make one dices and three plus dodges. And with no block whatsoever, and no skills, and only two re-rolls, and another guy stunned, and he's got the ball. This is great, guys. Woo! Can't wait. This is really going to be a great win. I can feel it. No. Hey, <laughs> mate. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until me. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Look at that. Ten seconds of Rick and a sub. That's how it works. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All my players are going to be prone. Thank you, mm, Samich. Sorry if you've been missold on that. I'm actually a miserable cunt. Oops, I've just sworn. Okay, this is a, this is a good block. Freeze two players. No, nope, it doesn't. It maybe's freeze. <laughs> if that had been a power though, right? Then he could have blocked there, and then I'd have had two assists, and then would have freed one player actually. So not even that good, right? So these guys now have to dodge. Woo! This is looking really good. Honestly, I'm I'm really happy. This couldn't be going better. Can stand him up, and then we then we get the chance to be served. So that's really good. Oh, 
Oh, good, a push. That's what we wanted, guys. That lets us, uh, you know, push him to a different square, which is really how you win games. If people, you know, people like to whine when they don't get knockdowns and stuff, but really the best thing you could do is just push people ineffectually as your guys get cast out. And then, uh, you know, that's where true Blood Bowl skill lies. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Herakal. Yes, obviously you have to plan for pushes, but you're not going to win with them <laughs> if you're if you're making pushes while your opponent is catting all of your guys. <laughs> you're getting fucked and losing. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I mean, you shouldn't do stupid, stupid blocks that, like, you know, trap your guys if you get a push or whatever. Yes, Fenia, yes. Two cast on his turn one. Wasn't good. Blitzed and cast instantly. So, yeah, it's pretty horrible. <laughs> Hello, Gilliam. <laughs> yeah, one cousin turn zero and one cousin turn one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want it. Hello, Fugonomics. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jellio, yeah. Yeah, this is likely to be. I mean, it's obviously much... If he plays vaguely competently... <laughs> vaguely competently... <laughs> then it's an 8 turn stall for him. If I get really lucky, it's an 8 turn stall for me. <laughs> and play perfectly. If I play perfectly and get lucky, there's a chance of an 8 turn stall. If he plays like somebody who's got, you know, a normal working brain, <laughs> then um, <laughs> dice that lie within the realms of possibility... Then it's a it's a t perfect uh, turn stall for him, <laughs> but you know anything can happen. <laughs> the fucking normal. That was just some dude, you know, who said that. Um, I can't remember who. I, I don't think it was anyone who we who we know. It was just some random some random commenter on Discord uh, arguing with Dord. And then, like, Dodd's like, how can you possibly say something like that? There's no data. And he's like, I have a normal working brain. <laughs> Which is brilliant. Hey, I'm rolling a skull, using his rerolls up. Now oh, he's got block. What a twat. Didn't kill him. Fucking outrageous. <laughs> Wow, okay, so we've got hope on the normal working brain front. <laughs> oh dear. Let me just give up two dice mighty blow blocks first. That's a great idea. Big pow gets us an extra block. Ho ho ho, under Kaz! <laughs> Only down one man. And another armor break! Oh my god, what a turn! What a turn! He tries a 4 plus dodge, gets stunned, and then from 3 blocks there's 2 stuns and a KO. The bad thing is, of course, that I can't even go for the pickup, because this guy has to get away, doesn't he? And if I fail the pickup, I don't want to re-roll it. Maybe I do. Maybe I do re-roll the pickup. Alright. 
listen to jelly deals. No, never lucky. Who doesn't want to be like Elio Jelly? My god, Elliot yesterday was hilarious. <laughs> Fucking Dimmy asked a moronic question. <laughs> moronic question about fucking. Would you rather fight a, a horse sized chicken or a hundred chicken sized horses? <laughs> and Elliot, rather than like saying, fuck off, Dimmy, which would be the normal response, <laughs> literally thinks about it. <laughs> He uses all of his brain power to like come up with the most the most well thought out response of all time. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> um hello Newt Long. <laughs> yeah, it's a deranged angle. But it was amazing, wasn't it? Fucking Elliot just just totally putting more thought into it than than any human ever should have done. It was brilliant. <laughs> I mean, you've, I think you've got no chance against a chicken-sized horse. Uh, sorry, a horse-sized chicken. You've got no chance against a horse-sized chicken because it's like, it's a fucking, uh, it's a fucking Utah raptor, isn't it? Which is horrendous. Um, but similarly, a hundred of anything, <laughs> except an ant, <laughs> and you're gonna struggle, struggle, aren't you? You're gonna struggle against anything that isn't. Uh, that isn't an ant if there's a hundred of them. <laughs> That's just foul. Oh wow, he greeds it. He just fucking greeds it. A pointless block and he greeds it. What the hell? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, cockfights have got blades on them, haven't they? And cockfights. And a vicious cockfight. He got two stuns there. After that amazing turn, he just gets two fucking stuns to make up for it. Yeah, but it still, if it wants to kill you, it wants to kill you, doesn't it? Like, I think it wanting to kill you was part of the, uh, was part of the, the, the deal. <laughs> I think I just go for the pickup. Exactly, exactly how I get I should have done it with a mighty blow, you're at a level! Why the fuck did I pick it up with a non-mighty blow? Oh my god, I'm a dickhead. <sighs> oh, that was terrible as well, because now if I keep him in contact with him, these are all up. So I've got to let him up. And then just base him, I guess. And then base here. Just go for a cheeky potato. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Skuro, yeah. But El Elliot's done all the hard work, Skuro. <laughs> the point was, Elliot like really, like Elliot really went into it. He was like, the thing is, at least if there's a hundred, if there's a hundred horse size, if there was a hundred chicken sized horses, at least if you took some of them down, you'd be helping everyone else and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the topology. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> can, can you get them to a choke point? <laughs> can, can you choke the chickens? <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Are you armed? <laughs> it was just brilliant. I went on for ages. So it's it's not my fault that we're we're discussing it because it was just Elliot. It was just brilliant how how, how into it he was. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Avec 
<laughs> oh, come off it, you bastard. Oh, fucking hell, man. Fuck. <laughs> a tiger versus a bullfighting bull. Wouldn't the tiger just, like, kill it? I don't know, the ti tigers can lose to, like, buffalo, can't they? To the lions, lions and stuff can lose to like water buffalo and stuff, so it could lose. I don't know, somebody would win. <laughs> oh god, the old 1D. Right. I mean, this seems bullshit, doesn't it? Dodge double GFI to 1D. He could dodge 1D, but at that point, why don't I just dodge? dodge and then that's the most important thing and then I can't tag him I could dodge and tag him and I can't tag him I could have gone there and just punch with my blow but I guess I've got to do dodges at the end right so I've just got to dodge and then the double GFIs Seems realistic. One, two, three, four. So at least he's got a GFI to hit. I like that he's up there. Sculling out here is bad, isn't it? And he might just do something stupid and leaving people up in contact. Leaves him. Oh, I can just blitz with this guy. The balls. Oh no, he can't because he's impaired. <laughs> oh god, I mean, either way, you're looking at death, aren't you, Lemon? <laughs> oh, stop it, man! Did I even blitz? Oh, he could have blitzed, and then, oh god, I think I didn't even blitz. I think I just ended the, oh fuck off, I think I just ended the turn because I wanted to leave his in contact, but I guess I could have blitzed. Off I often don't blitz. Come on, failure GF. This is fucked, isn't it? Three fucking cars, man. And a KO. Pows, another armor break, no doubt. Oh, another removal, of course. I got like. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know what I can do. I don't know what I can do. <laughs> what have I got to do and not get fucked by dice? <sighs> Just cry. That's the best, isn't it? So double G if I had to hit it. Still better than the dodge. And then he runs down, or he just runs and then he dodges. Yeah, okay, that's, that's the play, isn't it? These turns are faster when there's no fucking players left. Look at this lovely mug. Good to see you, Jim. Jim, hello. <sighs> Fuck off! Um, 
Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Six players gone in five turns. What the fuck? What the absolute fuck? I can't do this with any team. <laughs> Stop fucking fighting! With my everything. fucking four ah! can we fuck off? <sighs> I got two. But apples, Dimmy, and I've used them both. <laughs> Already used them both. And still got a guy dead and three guys killed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely fucking outrageous. Also, without being rude, the guy is fucking terrible. I do an horribly pointless one days and stuff. The good thing is he's not good, you know, I guess. I guess that's good that he's not good. Giving us a chance. But, I don't know, it, it kind of feels more frustrating because you know that it's the only way he's got a chance, isn't it? That's, that's the thing. So it's kind of, it's kind of annoying because it's, you know it's the only way the guy's got a chance against you. Whereas getting diced by Dice Lord Hippie um, didn't feel that bad because he could have won anyway, right? That's the way I looked at it. Oh well, there's a chance! You're telling me there's a chance after all of this? Woo! <laughs> Flip me, guys! <laughs> Yeah, spending cash on babes is a rookie mistake, yeah. I mean, the thing is, I got two cars for my two apples, but still then just got three cars and three kills. So <laughs> Didn't get the knockdown. Glorious. This is a GFI that he could fail with either character. There's a fucking chance. Yeah, he is having bleeding hippie hit dice without being bleeding hippie yet. That's true. I mean, this is about how lucky bleeding hippie was. To be fair. But, um, but you know, at least... Uh, yeah, that kind of doesn't feel as bad. Because I think hippie could have beaten me with normal dice. He could have beaten me if I had had better dice than him. You know, he could have done, couldn't he? I could have played... Um, you know, he could play better than me in a given match. Doesn't matter who, who's got the higher ceiling or the more consistent, like, level on an individual game. Pretty much anyone who knows how to play Blood Bowl can beat anyone else who knows how to play Blood Bowl, can't they? So he could have definitely played better than me on the day, uh, even if I was better than him. And, and, and triumphed over bad dice. Whereas... Uh, Whereas instead, um, I didn't have a chance. <laughs> this is a 2D and a GFI, yeah. 2D and a GFI has got to be better than a, than a 1 in 3. Ne vaudrait-il pas mieux esquiver que chercher à bloquer, Bob? Ah non, Jim! 
Frappez la mort, courir ensuite, ça a toujours été ma devise. Yes. Whew. All right, there's a chance of not losing. <laughs> the perfect eight turn stall. <laughs> Fuck off. Instantly comes back. Oh. It's nice of him, isn't it? I'll require him after I've got fucking done with my shitty setup, I can do this. The classic talk to your opponent. So he responds and uh, fucks himself. <laughs> Tactic. No, I'm joking. <laughs> People do that though, don't they? I mean, <laughs> I kind of tried to do it to Elliot and then felt bad about it. <laughs> right. I always forget to speak to like the actual person I play. <laughs> Can't seem reply to that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I expected a whine about a whine about dice to be honest. <laughs> but actually it was quite nice. Champagne with ball. Oh yeah. Thanks for the force. No thanks. I'm not gonna have a kebab. Ever again. Well, well, not while the lockdown's on full force. Well, not lockdown, just not while COVID is a thing. Because, you know, um, I guess there's like, there's sewers that are cleaner than uh, than kebab shops in Darlington, so... <laughs> um, probably, probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, it was certainly a good... <laughs> yes, it does, yeah. Oh, you know when you get that thing where your ear fucking goes like that? And you, I've, I've had it all, like, since I woke up and it's annoying. Right, but nine players, maybe. Maybe ten. I mean, also, maybe seven, but there you go. Okay, there's another one gone. <laughs> Hey! Ah, he's got a reroll. He got a reroll from the kickoff. Oh god! Gets a reroll from the kickoff, which results in not him getting both, not him getting knocked down. It was versus my block guy as well, so it had just been him down. So this gets him an extra block. Not a Kaz, outrageous, and the foul, which we shall have to see what that does. Mm. It's just a default one. It was. I just thought it was funny because it made me think I spy Fago. Um, Darlow is not the land of chicken palm. Oh yeah, it is a Randall Calder scene. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, yeah. Which is fair, isn't it? You know, both cheats. I think it's okay to be to be not okay with cheats. Like personally, I don't know. You know, maybe it's childish or whatever to care about things, but then you put in your time in that, don't you? And like, obviously, in the Bernie and Sergal days, there was money on the line as well, but I mean, time is money anyway, so even if it was just a bunch of idiots, where are they? So that Kaz happens because he got the extra rule that he shouldn't have had. Brilliant. Um, so like, you know, like, even if, even if there's no money involved, it's still everyone's time, isn't it? We've all put like a lot of time into this game and just fucking people over. My like cheating sucks. I might still lose this anyway. That was an annoying extra reroll, wasn't it? Got him fucking cars. He shouldn't have had. Thirteen SPP. I don't know if it's better to risk a thirteen SPP beastman or a five SPP warrior. I guess let's put a four SPP warrior on the line. <sighs> it's 
He's got eight men. He's only missed next. He's dead, but was a rookie, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah, uh, Dev, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Perfect MVP target, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still have cheese in your heart, he's probably, yeah. Palm oils do feel pretty unhealthy, don't they, when you eat them? Yeah, to be fair. I have played XCOM, yeah, didn't I? I played XCOM 1 a lot. Dominated it. Um, was absolutely incredible at XCOM 1. And then uh, XCOM 2 came out while the qualifying for the World Cup was on. So I'd never really got into it much. Um, so, you know, I should... I should play... I should play, um, should really play that and Phoenix Squad or whatever it is. Should really play them. I, I own it, I own it, I just didn't play it much. I bought it when it came out, I just I just didn't play it, hardly played it, because I was in Germany and uh, the World Cup qualifying was on. Yeah, officially for other reasons, yeah. They could have been to the UFC and they didn't want to get sued. I did play a lot of character creator here. Chimera Squad, that's the one. Gotta play Chimera Squad. Or Phoenix Point, I don't know, whichever one. Whichever one it is, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Chimera Squad, probably Chimera Squad. The, the XCOM one. Hey! Pointless greed reroll. You love to see it. He is complaining about dice, or is he just thinking it's funny that he's bad? I don't know. <laughs> right, let's put some re let's swarm through with some pressure on the ball here. <laughs> Not much. Pushed him to here. Whatever. I realised I don't want to put pressure on the ball. Because I'm got a team, I've just got to try and stall him out, haven't I? I'm not going to turn him over, I've got five players. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I, when I put him in there, I thought he can stand up and then he can go in, you know, and uh, and I can like tag all of his Tomb Guardians, but they're just going to mighty blow the living fuck on me, aren't they? So I've just got to. Uh, I just gotta uh, stay back and try and stall him out. So I don't lose 2 1. Trying to not lose 2 1 now is the thing. Um, Hat. He seems alright actually. It's, he seems alright with a nice TD and that. So he probably just genuinely meant ha. Like lots of people just don't take it seriously, do they? You know? So it's like. do fun stuff and everything. Yeah, I've, I've had chat off for a long time. I just let me see. Yeah, it is easier without it, indeed, to me. With a stream, that's the thing, isn't it? Because you've got the stream to. Like, I never remember. I, well, I mean, never. I very rarely remember to say hello. And if I do remember to say hello, it's usually to say, fail to pick up your ginger bastard to Elliot. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. I mean that is friendly in England. <laughs> to be fair. To be fair, that is that is friendly in England. Oh, 
get fucking taken down to Pound Town. Let's do this. It's really lame not having him blitz out, but then you have to blitz and dodge. And then no one else would really do anything. Or is he? He could blitz and get through. Lovely dodge. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what I tried. That was low odds to work, high odds to get removed. Yeah, maybe I probably shouldn't have made that block. Should I? Looking back, that was annoying. I mean, he might he might not do it, but yeah, it wasn't good, was it? Shouldn't have done it. Should have thought. Again, that's it. you got to think about pushes, haven't you? And expect. I just thought, I don't care if I skull. <laughs> I thought, I don't care if I skull. That's all I thought about. But I should have thought about the success state of the push. And how it wasn't very good. Yeah, exactly, Coffee. It is, it is friendly, isn't it? Like, it is literally friendly in England, I would say. To call, to call. Like, you'd call you. You would call your best mate a ginger bastard, wouldn't you? <laughs> but, um. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> doesn't get the power, so it doesn't free. Glorious. No, I haven't actually. I haven't actually, Jelly. I, uh. <laughs> Is it not? You're fucking Scottish! You're worse than us! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he just left us a three plus two D for the sir. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I've never done a move <laughs> so fast in my life before. <laughs> right. I mean, I've just got to do the four three, and I've got a reroll, so I might as well reroll it. Wow! Accidentally clicked end turn. Don't worry, mate. If it's in rebel, you could call it a bug. Only against Wolfbark, though. <laughs> ah, I just go for the GFIs, fuck it. No good snow glory. Try the 1D again. There you go, there's the score against Mighty Blow. Dead? No, not even dead. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is Chaos can do that though, can't they? That's the thing, right? Nurgle just couldn't have done that because this would have been a random shitty rotter and stuff. And like this would have been a random rotter and like 
you know, could have been, more than likely would have been. And, like, if it was Chorse and that was a Hobgoblin, he couldn't have got the 2D. And if, you know, if it was a Blocker, he couldn't have done that. I do like that Chaos are, like, really mobile, aren't they? Like, they're, they're a pretty elfy bash team. Like, Orcs wouldn't have been able to do it because they'd be moved 5, wouldn't they? And stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> While being a whiny oh, bitch. Yeah, that's true, Ed. Yeah, yeah, that's man. true. That's true. The boss, Mr. Dice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Le combat est très déséquilibré, Bob. Eh oui. Eh oui. Visualized and actualized. <laughs> oh, he's used his reroll. So now. He's only, he's got no reroll for this 2-2-4 to get the ball. Come on. Yeah, that was the turning point, wasn't it? Even trying it was uh, told, t trying it told the story and then obviously when he failed and stood, like obviously 50-50, it just works and it's horrible. <laughs> but the fact that he even tried it Gave us hope, and then obviously the uh. <laughs> He's double dead, look at that, six and a six. Dead. Regen fails. Badly hurt. Glorious. <laughs> Alright. Now, hopefully, we just don't lose to the pitch clear. Oh, maybe I should have stalled. Oh, fuck. I didn't even look. I didn't even think about stalling. Nah, I couldn't have stalled. Looking at the, looking at the ball there, I couldn't have stalled. I just didn't look at it, though, Jilly. I didn't, I didn't look at the stall. That was the thing. But um, on seeing the replay, yes, there was no chance to stall. I did not assess all the lines, assign each one an equity value and choose the highest one. <laughs> yeah, ducky. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jelly. I was just too excited. I can't sing the song, do we? I'm, I'm no, I'm no die or, or fash. It was, it was like fash, wasn't it? The, the days of the old fash songs. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, visualized. I visualized the dice. Actualized the dice. It's easy, really, when you think. It's like going for the kills, isn't it? It's funny that he was double dead, the uh, the Tomb Guardian. Like, his decay didn't even matter because he was dead anyway. Except, I guess, the, 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 second, de the second decay roll would have been the regen roll and he'd have been alright. <sighs> Fuck, man. This ear is super annoying. Oh, is, is Dio a cokehead? I didn't know. Cut it off. Gonna cut my ear off. <laughs> Clever blitz here to get rid of this guy. I mean, clever's maybe a strong word for it. Especially as if now if I push it, I give away the block anyway, so I might as well GFI them. There you go. There's the push. <laughs> the inevitable push. Reroll this, can't we? Oh, this is a he's a beast mode. If he dies, he dies. Oh, I guess I've only got one reroll. Yeah, fuck it. There's only two more turns left. Two more. Oh, oh, Visualize, actualize, flip me, guys. Oh my god, it's perfect for that. Should be that should be Rick's thing. 
visualize and I actualize. Flip me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just get out of the way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, just running away would have been the thing, wouldn't it? Oof, just a KO. Uh, only one Doctor Satisfying, just a rookie. Mama Fago is gone. But I mean, five cars. Oh, it's a good question, Vili. Eliod playing. Um, and then... Probably Artemis not playing. <laughs> yeah, they were, weren't they? They were indeed. <laughs> I, just, I just watched myself. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh yeah, yeah, also, also Elyard marbles. Yeah, I tend, I tend to host Elyard when I, like, I tend to host Elyard and I miss the most because, um, because they're who I want to see the most. Yeah, it's a laugh in here, it's a laugh with how after years <laughs> basically let's try and knock these guys down okay I've, I've got block <laughs> I knew that I knew I had block totally I totally knew that I had block definitely oh, fuck off Definitely knew I had block. Jesus fucking Christ. Mighty blow. This way he doesn't get hit by a mighty blow. And can foul him as well. Why <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. Wonderful. I do look at myself a lot in the mirror, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Dimmy. Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> no, I don't think so, Vili. I think he. I think he does it. I think he does it on purpose. I don't think he's really in danger of having an aneurysm. Dicky. <laughs> He's there, Canoring Threat. He's there for the screen. He's there for the other bit of the screen. And he picks it up and lobs it to him. Simple. Never lucky, what a fucking joke. <laughs> Not my game, no mate, you're just unlucky. Not your game at all, no. All you did was make six cars and four KOs. Or maybe more. <laughs> just, just sometimes you just don't have the luck, buddy. <laughs> nah, he seemed alright actually. Hey! If only he hadn't pointlessly re-rolled a, uh, a, a unfilled block on turn one, he would have had a re-roll for that. But hey. Damn it. 
only had kept my reroll, eh? I might have scored another one. Shit. <laughs> so close to being 3 0. I've wasted my re last rerolls on nothing. I didn't even think of the chance of getting 3 0. <laughs> I, I I would go for the uh, I would go for the hundred chicken sized horses, obviously. Because there's a there's a chance that they flee, isn't there? That's the thing. You know. If you if you and ninety nine of your mates were fighting Godzilla, you uh you might or King Kong, you might uh, you might get a little bit scared after like three of them get killed instantly. Um, <laughs> or whatever. All right, so he's still alive, and he's he's an MVP. Wait, so there's two people in MVP range. That's nice. A double. And block. Not leap for force. <laughs> <laughs> right. So got two journeymen. I mean, I guess on 160k I could just buy it, buy a, buy a fagor anyway. Probably just go block on him. Right, yes, two more, two more. In fact, fault force. This is this is game one of the day. Right, glorious. Still haven't conceded a touchdown, by the way. Um, wonderful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.